interactive student edition with the GoMad series is a great tool for students to use. It's a video based interactive system that lets the student interact with videos on their screen. And so a lot of teachers use this. Every grade has a different animal character that goes along with the video series. A lot of teachers that I've noticed um, use it on their smart boards or on their projectors and they do and they use it for whole class instruction. I'm going to show you a way that you can use this on an individual basis um, with Canvas LMS. And so when you embed this in the Canvas LMS, every student has access to this video. They don't have to log in to uh, Think Central. They can uh, complete this interactive video in, 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 uh, as many times as they want. Uh, but the cool part is it, it's, it gives you the essential question already, and it's a great uh, starter or a great anticipatory set for your lesson. Here's a problem for you to solve. This is a comparison problem. What operation do you use to solve this problem? You need to use subtraction to find how much taller Mount Bona is than Mount Bear. But first, come up with an estimate for the problem. So the difference in height should be close to 1,000. Now let's line up the numbers by place value to subtract. The steps to subtract greater numbers are the same steps you use to subtract other multi-digit numbers. First, subtract the ones. Now, subtract the tens. You can't subtract three tens from two tens, so you need to regroup to subtract the tens. The four hundreds two tens regroup as three hundreds twelve tens. Now you can subtract the tens. Three tens from twelve tens is nine tens. Now subtract the hundreds. Again, you need to regroup. What does the thirteen above the crossed out three represent? Thirteen hundreds. The 6,000s 400s regroups as 5,000s 1300s, so you can now subtract the hundreds. Do you need to regroup to subtract the thousands? The number you're subtracting isn't greater than the number you're subtracting from, so you can subtract the thousands without regrouping. Then subtract the 10,000s. There are no 10,000s to record. So, Mount Bona is 1,590 feet taller than Mount Bear. Since the difference of 1,590 feet is close to the estimate of 1,000, the answer is reasonable. And so, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your desktop and create a folder that says Interactive Student Edition. And then you also need the snipping tool and then obviously Google. And I'm going to open up two pages, which are going to be your Think Central and your Canvas LMS dashboard. And so those are the two things that I'm going to go back and forth to. And so the first thing is make sure you click on Interactive Student Edition, go to the chapter video that you want to embed in Canvas. 
I'm going to again do subtract whole numbers 1.7. How can you subtract whole numbers? So I'm going to use the snipping tool now. Here's my snipping tool. Click on it. I have it down in my taskbar. So what I'm going to do is snip this essential question. And so once I snip this essential question, I'm going to save snip and I'm going to save it in my desktop on my desktop and interactive student edition folder and I'm going to save it as lesson or let's do interactive no, let's do lesson let's do lesson 1.7 I'm going to save it in there now when I save it in there I'm going to have to uh, this is the link, so I'm going to have to come back to this link and copy and paste this. So I'm going to copy this link because I need to paste it with that, with that image as well. And so then when I go to Canvas, I'm going to go to my math course. I like to create this as a page, not an assignment, because within a page, it's not graded. So when I click on page, view all pages, I'm going to create another page. And I use all of my videos, uh, Khan Academy videos, Interactive Student Edition videos, any kind of video based system that I want them to watch. I use pages because it's not sent to my grade book. Unless you want it to be graded and then you'll use it as an assignment. I don't want it to be graded. create a title first then I'm going to embed my image I'm going to go over to images upload a new image choose file I'm going to choose interactive student edition lesson 1.7 so it's on my desktop 1.7 I'm going to decorate an image click that button and I'm going to upload and so this is what it looks like when the students get into it they're going to see this right here and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go over here to the link. You can see the link to URL. I'm going to click on it. Right click. Paste that link. Insert. And so now you have a way, and I'm going to save it. So now you have a way for your students to click on the essential question. How can you subtract whole numbers? And they will go directly to the video. So when you click on it, this is what happens. And so I think that's really, really cool that students do not have to log into Think Central in order to do that. Uh, it's a great, um, great anticipatory set. It has your essential question already. If, if you do use the Go Math series textbook uh, with Canvas, uh, we have a classroom that's one to one, so it's it's a little bit easier to do this. We do have uh, some of our lower grade teachers that have center-based tablets and center-based laptops, and so they they use this as well.